Welcome to the Manders Mindset Podcast. Here you'll find both monologue and interviews of entrepreneurs, coaches, healers, and a variety of other people, where your host, Amanda Russo, will discuss her own mindset and perspective and her guest mindset and perspective on the world around us. Manders and her guests will help explain to you how shifting your mindset will shift your life. Hey guys, welcome to Manders Mindset. As always, I'm your host, Amanda Russo, and today I'm here for a solo episode that I'm going to talk to y'all about decisions and decision making. Now, this is actually not a topic I initially planned on recording a podcast on, but I recently heard a podcast Rachel Hollis produced, as many of you have heard me speak before. I'm a big fan of her. She has a podcast and she's an author, motivational speaker. And I'm someone who has struggled a lot in my life with making decisions, regardless of what it was a decision over, whether I should stay at a job, whether I should go to a certain event, whether I whether I should do X, Y, Z. And I used to be the type of person who would often ask people close to me what they thought. Should I go to this? Should I do this? And honestly, it wasn't until getting certified in breathwork that I really didn't ask anybody. Now, Rachel Hollis mentioned on a recent podcast how so many people struggle with decision making and get caught up in some of these even bigger decisions is because they think that once they make this choice, that's the end all be all. But you can make another choice. You can always make another decision, even if it ends up I don't want to say being the wrong choice, but even if you decide down the line you want to do something different, say you move and you don't end up wanting to be where you've moved to, you can move back or you can move somewhere else. Say you quit your job to start your own business and then something happens and maybe you need more finances again, so you get another job again. You can make another decision. We're not stuck once we make a choice. It's not the end all be all when we make that decision. Now, I've also been the type of person who has struggled sometimes with making decisions with the fear and the assumption of what are the people close to me going to think? What is my mom going to think? What is my family going to think? That was honestly one of my hesitations when it came up. Do I go to Bali or do I not go to Bali? What is my family going to think if I leave the country this last minute? And another thing I want you guys to consider when it comes to decision making, if you're somebody like me who that people-pleasing tendency could come up. As Brett mentioned in part one of our recording together, to really think about what you want to experience in your life. What is going to make you look back on your life when you are 70, 80 years old and smile and shed a tear because your life was so meaningful. And when he said that to me, like, that has been something that I think about all the time now. And I think it's a really great perspective for any of y'all who might find yourself in similar situations to me when you have a decision to make and... Ultimately, you want to do whatever it is, but part of you maybe has that fear of 
what will the people close to me think? Well, your mindset starts to worry about the what if, about the what could happen. You can make another choice. We're not stuck once we decide to do something. So I encourage you, the next time you're faced with a decision, if you find yourself really contemplating it and going back and forth about whether you should or you shouldn't do X, Y, Z, ask yourself, when I'm much older, how will I feel if I did this? Because at the end of the day, it's your life. And whether you believe in reincarnation, past lives, any of that, in this body as this person, me right here, Amanda Russo, I got one life to live. And what do I want to experience? And when I asked myself that, I knew I had to go to Bali. So what do you want to experience? Think about it. You know, I don't know it for you. Nobody else does. And the last thing I want to share with y'all in terms of decisions and making decisions is a quote that I've said before. It was shared with me by someone and it's really stuck with me. But he said to me, well, here then we're not. And it's a very short quote, but it's true. We're here then, we're not. And none of us know when our last day on earth will be. So I encourage y'all to live it up because we're here then, we're not. We don't know what tomorrow brings. And we don't know when that day will be that will be our last day here. So make the decision, and move on. So I hope this helps you next time you are faced with a decision. Have a more clear head going through it and just making the choice and moving on. Well, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Mando's Mindset. As always, if you enjoyed the show, I'd really appreciate it if you left a review, left a five-star rating, and Share it with anybody you know that may struggle with making decisions as well. Thanks, guys.